throw a wrench into that. I like this catwalk push, but Drone gets an early pick here on Mikhail, so that's going to slow things down for them. He swings and finds another one before getting the counter. Player one there with a pair of frags as well, and after all is said and done with that flurry of action, we're staring at a 2v2. Make that a 2v1 as Hayes finds player one, and this is going to be a defense in favor of mid heavy here, which is not something you typically see with pistols, but this might be them just going for the surprise. And Couple of early trades there before the superior firepower kicks in on the side of TSM. Player one with a pair of picks on this ghost though. And that means that they might be able to find a bit of room to breathe. However, Cutler's swinging over to A and player one here is wounded. The spike is planted, but you have to assume that with only 31 health, this is not gonna go his way. It does not. Cutler gets the frag. This will be a diffuse for TSM and it's gonna be a 2-0 start. And I know Gen.G said that they had to forget the previous game, but now they need to forget these first two rounds as well. Yeah, not the start that Gen.G wanted to see. The execute that they brought out there being something that I wouldn't necessarily expect from them given their composition. So we talk about that sort of generic uh, A generator push and plant that we see here. And one of the variants when you're not running, and we're gonna see exactly that pan out as Gen.G is gonna double down towards A. This time Wardell does not miss, but again, that damage he took earlier comes back to haunt him. When able to get the counter frag as a result. And Hayes doing a little hazing of his own, picking up a double kill here on the back end. And now it's just this Cypher who is trying to come up through the window where Hayes is lying in wait. Does get the trade here. Mikhail takes him down, but still sadly a 2v1. And he has to plant, which is going to leave him vulnerable. And... See if he can pull this off. He's going to plant behind the box. Gives him a little bit of cover, but he has to win both these peaks. And he won't win either of them as he's just flanked outright by Cutler here. That anchor position that Cutler's playing towards A, making for a really strong sort of slow retake. And that will put TSM up their third round. Yeah, the slow well, you have nothing to lose sometimes sending it just pans out in your favor and we may see that come through here for gen g yeah i traditionally can get behind that statement except for when you're going to be funneling into a you got to get close to use these weapons and the ar power here is that you can just do this right you're seeing them pick them off at a distance so they will clear it and the omen all comes across so they like to four caught yeah the sage is boosted and was trying to get Wardell there, but instead Wardell finds that pick on Mikhail and also re-peaks to find Effie's on the Sage Wall. And that is disaster for Gen G. Any hope they had of pushing in is basically out the window with that double by Wardell. That flick from Wardell was so disgusting. It gave me whiplash. My goodness. You you can't you can't take peaks like that and lose them it's it's absurd the type of power that he brings to this roster and they can be same outright aggression that same forceful play that tsm has been bringing non-stop we see a flurry of kills once again going to the side of tsm here and with hayes picking off effies it's down to one player left on the side of gen g who's not even at full health You've got the spike, you've got a dream, but now you've got nothing. So bros, get out of my way! For the res, they've at least got it back to a 5v5. They are going to be trying to push in, but Drone with a double helps to stall things a bit. After the trade, it's still going to be a 3v3, but Effie's there lost their armor, had to use the heal, so the Sage heal is now on cooldown. Wardell answers with another pick on the Sage, and... We have some players camping the spike down here in hell. That gives them a little bit of an advantage for now, but as they get to take these peaks here, well, player one is actually gonna pop off a little bit and make this a contest. And then Hazed ends it. Every time you think Genji's about to pull something off, every time you think, okay, this is the time they're gonna do it. Somebody steps up for TSM. Uh, we saw it in the first map. Everybody but backs really away at the last moment. Gonna hold the angle instead. Yikes. And Wardell punishes them. 
So Broza gets another kill as well, and this is likely going to be an 8-0 start. There it is, flawless on the side of TSM. After this game is going to just be a landslide again. I can already feel it. And Sabroza catches GMD even after the blast pack to try to close that distance. Win does make use of that operator finally, picks off drone. So this is going to set up a 3v3, but you still have to get the spike planted. And Wardell just styling on player one there. It's crazy to me because it's not like Gen G is a bad team, but TSM is making them look bad right now. There's no two ways about it. Yesterday we saw relatively close games between these two across both maps, and My eyes it's just completely yours. disappeared. And that right there is exactly what I was talking about earlier, where every time it feels like, hey, Effie's finds Cutler, and this is going to be a round win for Gen G. Almost this entire match. Wardell punishing them for trying to push in through Site B, but Mikhail here answers, gets a double. The Cypher alt is going to let them know where the remaining members of TSM are, and this is the first time in a long time we've seen a numbers advantage in favor of Gen G, and they are going to be planting here on Site B. They might actually be stringing together two victories here in a row if they can defend this. Yeah, Gen G looking like there's still a shred of hope for them. Picking up this second, and there's always the fringe likelihood that we switch sides and see a similar performance out of them. I don't want to act like it's completely over, but it's definitely dire straits. And Effie's found some bros to break. It's it's like half a break at best. They still end up in a situation where their economy isn't what they want it to be. My goodness, Quinn there goes barely unpunished, only eight health to his name. Yeah, but he picks up that double to start, including Wardell, and this is what we needed to see from them. They needed to win those initial engagements. So now it's them with the numbers advantage. I think they're finally finding a bit of momentum here. I said it before, I felt like this was gonna turn when they could just start winning the fights, but Sabroza finding Ephes there is huge because the spike was dropped and that means they know where it's at. Player one punishing drone though, that gives them back the numbers. They're gonna move over here to B to get this plant. This run it back is huge. If he can get a pick here and then go back from the run it back, he might be able to make this work. Doesn't get the pick though. So this is gonna be traditional 1v2 if he decides to push in. And I got a feeling Sabroza is gonna take this chance. I mean, there's no reason not to. He's playing with house money at this point. They've had insane clutches all throughout the map thus far, so there's no reason to expect that this isn't a possibility. And player one, that they are trying to, in many ways, punish the predictability of TSM. They knew that they had a strong A hold, and Hazed and Drone here winning their firefights, popping off a bit, and so... Gonna be up to win, but Wardell denies it. So 9-3 is the differential here at the half. Gen G's in decent state. Wardell with the first blood, almost like it's scripted at this point, is going to give TSM an advantage. But we have a couple of players that took damage as a result. And again, TSM is running this Sageless Ascent comp. So that has the potential to be significant. They're going to throw this hot hands back there to make sure nobody's lurking. That gives them some intel that it's safe to push forward a little bit and Drone catches when lurking before Mikhail gets the counter frag, but that means a strong push into site A is on the agenda. Player one with a pair before Wardell punishes him. We're down to this 2v2, a lot of firing through the smoke, a lot of utility out. Plant now starting to go down. It looks like the opposing side of Gen G is gonna both enter from the heaven side. See if they can catch anybody looking at the wrong angle. Three. Wardell dashing to the other side of this box. Not gonna peek it quite yet. I think he's just trying to make some noise really at this point because of the only 47 health. You have to be very precise with this. Yeah, gets punished by Effies, but not a lot of time left for this to fuse. Does get it though. 
Effies. Oh, it's not enough time. It's gonna go off before the defuse is there. You've got to be at roughly 40% before the PSM. The... They've dropped the spike way back. They want to push forward and get some info. And that's a nice flash that comes out. Sabrosa with a pick. Make that two. So yet again, feels like this is a broken record at this point. First blood to TSM, big numbers advantage. They're gonna walk onto site A and get this plant. It'll be a 5v3, make that a 5v2 after drone takes down another player. Player one gets a pick, but now it's just him and an SMG against the remaining four. Well, he finds Wardell, but Sabrosa. The map. This is a great flash, but GMD still gets a trade on Sabrosa. But ultimately, it's going to be TSM coming up huge here. Wardell with a pair of picks, Hazed with a headshot as well. And now it's a 1v3. They're going to get this spike planted. And spike planted. the reality is this is going to end up being a match point scenario for Gen G. I believe in Effies, but I just I don't believe in a 3v1, unfortunately. Even more so because of the dart, you're going to have to back up to pull it off. This is a weird angle. You're going to essentially re-enter from the same spot. I would actually anticipate maybe even a save. You can't really save though because it's eleven to three. Yeah, Genji is out of options at this point, and the one option they have isn't good. Yeah, that that. So Wardell, entry frag, first blood. Joke's over. You're dead. Feeling area. You could just. You could put me on repeat saying the exact same things for this entire match. Round after round, just two clips. Me saying TSM first blood, numbers advantage, round win. It, it just feels like there's nothing that Gen G can do. And again, now it's gonna be down to just one player. This is a 1v5 and TSM's going on the hunt. They're not even gonna try to plant and that's it. 13 to three, TSM.